to be perfectly honest with you. I just want you guys to, one, anybody that's already seen it, give your opinion down in the comment section. Do you think when that sheriff put those gold chains on, started rapping, and called us brothers was racist or not? Fall in love with healing yourself. CBD. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, right? So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is sad, funny. I don't know what this is. To be honest with you, I just keep it racist. I don't know what this is. I ain't got the slightest idea. I was actually gonna play the uh, video for you. I was gonna play the video, but then I realized I might get hit with copyright problems and uh, or whatever the issue might be. I might have a problem with YouTube or whatever the case is. So I decided I wasn't gonna actually show the video, um, but the video was out there. I'm trying to tell you, it's funny. <laughs> That's why I said, I don't know what to call it. But hold on. So apparently, there is a gang that was arrested, I believe, <laughs> in Florida. During the press conference where they spoke about the 88,000 in cash, 89,000 worth of dollars worth of jewelry, and 283,000. $283,000 worth of narcotics. He also did a rap. Okay. Look, that was a lot longer <laughs> leading than I usually have uh, beginning uh, build up. So I want y'all to pardon me. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted on this particular situation because I do believe that once you decide to start committing crimes that if you uh that if you you know you're a criminal for a living the thing about being a criminal for a living uh going to jail for a living is basically part of the the exchange that's literally what the exchange is so when i hear that individuals are going uh just got locked up and uh, also we don't wish jail on anyone ever but when I hear that, uh, that, that there's 32 people that's involved in this particular situation uh, and they was hit with 301 felonies and uh, 134 misdemeanors and they have 645 previous charges against them, I don't know if I could say free these guys. But what I will say is let's pray for their families and pray for all their loved ones and everyone involved in this situation on both sides of the line. Now, with that being said, these dudes got arrested. Not all 32 of them, 29 of them. There's a couple of people that's still out free. I'm not going to call out their names here. There are a couple of people that they're still on the lookout for. Now, with that being said, uh, these the, the at the press conference, right? So, <laughs> Sheriff, see, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know if this was racist. I know that this, when I used to hear white men say, you know, talk to a black guy and they say, brother, I used to think that that was, a, a, it was acceptable. You know what I'm saying? You can't say the N word and I get it. But this dude said, brother, and I swear to gosh, it sounded me like he said the N word. It sounded exactly like the, it sounded, he gave me N word vibes of his tremblings in my thought processes saying that this man's is right here has just called us the n-word because basically what he says he says i look man you gotta go i can't play it because i think i'm gonna get hit with a copyright strike it was i looked three two three times it's actually on fox uh it's on regular news everybody got it but <laughs> what the hell i don't know what to tell you anyway so um then he puts on the gold chain of the rapper he also puts it on backwards, might I add. But he puts on the gold chain of the rapper and he spits a rap. 
Now, uh, one thing that I want to say real quick, because I've been saying this for the longest, and this is just even more proof. I don't, I don't know how much more proof individuals need, but um, they said that uh, Sheriff, uh, uh, his name is Sheriff Grady Judge, by the way. Shout out to that guy. He had to go through his whole life with his name Grady. You knew he was gonna become a police officer of some kind. This <laughs> is a lot teasing. Anyway, so he tried a large gold chain during a preference this week, right? So they said, um, shout out to uh, Complex. That's where I'm getting this from right now. Shout out to Complex. They said, uh, yeah, when he mentioned that some of those arrests were rappers who marketed themselves because they look cool in the community. I'm telling you right now, they're catching these guys because they're close to these rappers you have to get these rappers away from these gang niggas and these gang dudes are part of my language and these gang dudes away from these rappers y'all getting each other caught up i'm telling you that that's what's happening because the rapper has to be high profile guess what you are not supposed to be when you are actively committing crimes <laughs> i'm not trying to laugh at this i'm just explaining what i've been saying that's it Anyway, they said it right there. Marketed themselves because they look cool in the community. I'm telling you right now, that's how they was able to keep track of whatever the gang was doing. And that helped them with their investigation. You better believe it, yo. For real, for real. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I mean, I guess that's everywhere, to be honest with you. That's the whole problem uh, that these guys seem to have. Anyway, so he spits a whole rap. And um, I think... After spitting the rap and then using the brothers, I think that was just too much for me. I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure y'all all saw it already. I want to know what y'all guys think about it. Please put it down in the comment section. I want to know what everybody thinks about this. Because if I've not, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I know I'm supposed to be offended. <laughs> but these guys, they did a lot of crimes. You know? I mean, did they really? When you're doing that level of crimes, how long do you expect to be free? I'm just saying, just to keep it honest with you. I mean, you know, you, you're committing a couple of crimes and then you get caught and have to go away for a lot of times like, damn. But after you committed like a hell of a lot of crimes and then they catch you and you got to go away from time, it's like we had a good run. Tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm just I'm just keeping it a stack. Tell me where I'm wrong. The messed up thing is when you go out there, you only commit like one or two crimes, right? And then you get caught. Then you're like, oh, man. But when you've already been out there, you you've been you got 645 previous charges against them collectively. They had a great run, right? I mean, I'm not even trying to make jokes at this point. I'm just, I'm, how are we supposed to accept this? As a community, we are still supposed to want as uh, part of me, as us being in the community, we are still supposed to want our community to be safe for those that can't take care of themselves, right? Right? I'm just saying. Anyway. <clears throat> that's a whole different conversation for a whole different day. So, I think that this... <laughs> I think this is some racist shit. But, you know, these guys, they had a great run, it looks like. I don't know what to tell you. And rappers, once again, I keep telling y'all, y'all gotta get away from these... Um, I gotta get away from these gang members and gang members y'all gotta get away from these rappers y'all too close to each other and because of y'all proximity to one another y'all all getting each other each other in trouble because right now they don't even have to put surveillance on any gang all they got to do is find out what rapper he hang out with if they want to if they want to get any gang caught up all they got to do is follow the rapper that's it literally investigate the rapper follow the rapper that's all they got to do they don't even have to put no effort they have the minimal effort into the game they just have to put enough effort into the game to document the crime so all they got to do is document the crimes they don't even really have to bust anybody and then they just wait anyway uh let me know what y'all guys think about that put it down in the comment section um <laughs> do you think it was racist i'm curious and also do you think these guys you know had a good run i think they had a good run i don't know what the, i don't know how else we're supposed to accept this 600 i love the people i don't want i'm not wishing jail on anybody but i'm just saying 645 previous charges against them <laughs> like what the hell like it's how many days is in a year so <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> anyway so that's like 
they was getting charges for, it's every other day if for like how many years like every other week i don't know shout out to that shit anyway like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag bronx bombs let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i get on this one I'm out. From the concrete jungles to that frat party where you was the Michael Jordan of beer palm. Gorilla edibles. Eat your high.